Hi hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a couple of videos on how to uh, skin and uh, debone uh, work up quarters and block and wrap a, a mule deer. Got this guy Sunday night. Um, we had a cold snap so uh, I was able to hang it for a couple of days. Um, I usually hang them with the hide on because it keeps the uh, meat from drying out and you don't get a silver skin. Basically if you do that you kind of have to skin them twice. Um, so anyway, I've got the, uh, the four legs off already and then cuts opened up on the bottom from the the knee all the way up to the rib cage that'll make skinning it out a little bit easier um, so the next thing to do is I like to take the head off first before I start skinning it uh, makes it just a little bit easier for me I used to use a, uh, a saw either a just a carpenter saw or a hacksaw but um, that usually gets hair all over the shop and so a couple of years ago I started just using a chopper to take their heads off so hang on a second I'll go grab one of those this is the knife I call my shop chopper it's just an old uh, uh, leaf spring turned into a, a pretty good chopper with about a 10 inch blade it's got a uh, heavy convex edge full tang lanyard um, I guess now would be a good time to talk about lanyards I've never really used the type that have the lanyard hole up here in the Ricasso I like the ones that have got them in the the handle so you just slip your thumb through the lanyard and then make a half wrap and then grab your blade the reason I like doing this way is because if I have to let loose of that knife in a hurry I can let loose of it I don't have uh, a loop twisted around my wrist and you know those take an awful lot longer to get out of so anyway just hook wrap it around now on this cut just going to go right across the top of the neck you can see the the blade sharp is taking hair off when I make the cut what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down contact with about this portion of the blade and then add a little bit of a draw as the blade is going through and usually they come off in, in one nice cut. See, no hair, no muss, no fuss, no uh, you know stuff all over the shop, just nice and clean. Uh, this block and tackle, I really like it a lot. I've only uh, only found the one, and I think I found it at a flea market or something. But it's got a break on it, and then of course I have a scale attached to that so that I can keep a record of, you know, about how much everything weighs. You can hear that that break click, and then I can lower it down. And put it pretty much in any position I want and then pull back out on it and it locks and holds it in place for me okay so now we can start with the skin before you hang it go ahead and skin the forelegs down to these joints here and that way you don't have to worry about uh, skinning them while it's hanging up but to start skinning I just go from here all the way up on the inside roughly where the the color difference on the hair is so you skin it up here skin it up here and then start laying everything down and working down
skinning usually uh, is much easier when the animal is warm. When they're warm, the hide just pretty much peels right off, and you don't have to use a knife very much at all. Um, but like I said, I like keeping the hide on while they're hanging. It makes a skinning job a little bit tougher, but but not really all that bad. And the hide will protect uh, the meat from drying out. Also keep it clean. And then if your temperatures aren't, uh, you know, ideal while you're hanging it, I've heard a pretty ra wide range of temperatures, anything from just above freezing all the way up to about 50 degrees. This cold snap that we've had, it's been uh, low to mid 30s at night and up into the 50s during the daytime. So I've just been leaving the garage door cracked at night and then uh, shutting it during the daytime and that way everything gets cooled down really good at night and then the hide will actually act to insulate the meat from warming up too much during the day. So all we're trying to do here, now I don't keep hides, so uh, if I have a choice, I'd rather leave a little bit of meat attached to the hide. Versus the other way around. Of course, trying to do this with the camera and trying to get it to where you can see it's a little bit different than normal. There we go. That's always the tough spot is getting getting things started. Once you get it started, it works pretty good. And our next tough trouble spot is right here around the tail. Just push it through and then cut right through the tailbone.
And this is where, let's see where we're at. This is where that block and tackle really helps out. And pretty much I'm not really cutting much anything with my knife. I'm just uh, pulling down and then running the knife across the connective tissue there. and then just using a knife to cut the tough spots. And then here we get to where I sliced up the, sliced the hide up the legs. Still on camera? Nope. And then around the neck it usually gets pretty tight, so you have to use your knife more often. And this right here is why I take the head off before I skin it out. Because if that head was still hanging there, 
then I'd be trying to pull the hide. I wouldn't be able to get near as much leverage and grip on the hide to be able to pull it. here at the last little bit. I'll go ahead and cut through the meat on purpose and that way any hide that got or any hair that got carried through the cut will fall clean off. <clears throat> so there we have it. Skinned. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll spend a couple of minutes um, taking any hair or uh, uh, you know nastiness that got att that stayed attached to the meat off. And then once I get it all cleaned up, I'll uh, grab my boning knife, get the kitchen the cutting board set up, and we'll start taking quarters off. Uh, I'll show you how to take the quarter off, and then take it into the kitchen and show you how to. Uh, uh, take the different cuts of meat off of each quarter and then block them up into pack or package size chunks of meat and wrap them up and they go in the freezer.